What's up, everybody? Doc Dog went on a five. There's levels to this. All right, guys, I got a quick video for you. I made a video yesterday talking about the whole ratchet and clank and going to PC and all this other stuff. Okay, a lot of people didn't like the take. I get it. I understand it. I was coming from a smarky place. I was making fun of the ponies and all that other stuff. Okay, I still stand on everything that I said in that video, but I want to deliver the message a little bit differently to you today. Okay, or at least show you a different angle, different concept of what I'm talking about. All right. Sony PlayStation has effectively ended the console war. The console war at this point is actually pointless. That was my biggest thing that I wanted to make. The biggest thing I wanted to make last year, uh, last last video. Okay. There's there's no more no more need to compare which console is is better because it's irrelevant if your best reason for choosing your console is because you have timed exclusives. I mean, no one, I can't see anyone making that argument on good faith, okay? The whole ex ex exclusive thing, I could see that argument, right? People making that, but still, I stand by the fact that a title being exclusive doesn't make it automatically better. And a title being exclusive only, only benefits the company, not the consumer. Okay. I, you're not going to change my mind on that. I'm so sorry. I understand what you're developing for just one skew. This is and that. No, these people are talented. That would be the case if only, if only the best games were exclusive games. And that's not true. Some of the best games that we've played are multi-plat games. Okay. So we're not going to do that. All right. With that being said, Nintendo is still the only console that you actually buy for exclusives. Everybody knows that. Nobody purchases a Nintendo Switch thinking about playing 2K, Madden, Call of Duty, um, anything else on it. And even though you can play Fortnite, I believe, on a Switch, you can play Apex Legends on a Switch right now. I don't think anybody's actually trying to do that unless you're like in a in a desperate situation. Okay. However, you will purchase a PS5 to play multiplats. You will purchase an Xbox to play multiplats. Shout out to my man Rune, one of my my uh, my channel members. He said, Doc, you've admitted that you purchased the PS5 for their exclusives. And I have said this before, okay. The only people out here that actually buy a PS5 for their exclusives are Xbox fans. So the people that actually purchase that, that console for their exclusives won't come to you and cap to you telling you that you need this console for their exclusives. D do you understand that? Do you understand that? The actual PlayStation fan base, ponies, galloping artists, whatever you want to call them, okay? They will sit there and lie to you and tell you that you need to buy a PlayStation 5 for its exclusives. Yet, most of the games played on PS5s are multi-plat. Most of the games played everywhere are multi-plat. Okay? So that's the difference. But if you're a, a true Xbox fan, you're most likely playing everything on your Xbox and you only purchased a PS5 to play one or two exclusives. You're actually following that narrative better than the ponies themselves but you know that that narrative is dumb now now if you're an xbox fan in that situation and you don't have a ps5 right now you have to consider do i go ahead and purchase a ps5 or maybe if i'm an xbox fan maybe it is best to just upgrade to a pc and that way i can be part of both ecosystems that is exactly what sony has just done they have ended console wars and now it is officially an ecosystem war. So all the sales that PlayStation had as far as consoles with PS5, all that stuff that makes you guys feel better, none of that stuff really matters anymore. None of that stuff really matters. Because there's now another, a whole other group of people that are going to get to experience these games. And yes, they are not going to be able to experience the, the games day and date. But you can argue that they're going to be able to experience the games cheaper and better not everyone though because that's another thing we're not going to sit here and cap and pretend like every single pc gamer out there has a 2080 or a 3090 right but for the most part especially a year or two years from now the games that are coming out now are going to run better on those pcs right like we can we can we can agree to that okay shout out to my man cowboy from and now your mama knows king of content my man is recovering from surgery so i know 
and, 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 and Cowboy, I'll, I'll keep you in my prayers for speedy recovery, brother. But I know right now you're on meds right now. So I know you're a little whoopy. You're a little loopy right now. Cowboy said to me, because he didn't, he, he, this is what it is. Even though Cowboy pretends like he's not a pony, he be galloping enough times that, 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 that's sickening. He likes carrots and all that stuff. And when you say hi to him, he goes, hey. Anyways, listen. Cowboy didn't like the fact that I said Sony putting their games on PC is a clear message that the PlayStation gamer is not enough. He didn't like that I said that. He then turned around and said, it's not that the PlayStation gamers are not enough, Doc. It's called maximizing profit. Here's the problem with that statement, Cowboy. If Sony really cared about maximizing profit, then they would also drop these games on the Xbox as well. That's how you would maximize the profit is by dropping it everywhere, right? You could drop it timed exclusive on your PS5, your console, right? So you sell your console on that, on, the, on that basis and then you would drop it everywhere. But that's not what they're doing. They're dropping it on PC, because that is in in that, that is that is enough of what they want. You understand what I'm saying? So again, it's, I stand by the fact that the PlayStation fan base to Sony right now, I'm not saying it. Sony's sitting there with their actions. Dog, you're not enough. If I was to if I was to coach a college uh, basketball team or something like that, right? And they were paying me a nice salary or whatever, blah, 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 right? And then I go to another college to get hired as a coach as well, right? And I start working for both colleges, right? I'm doing it because the amount of money that I'm making here is not enough. This college is not enough. Whatever they're paying me here is not enough. So I'm going to go over here and make it enough, Okay. That's 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 how that works. Maximizing profit, I will try to figure out a, a way to, to, to do something else on top of that. Maybe I'll do some Uber on my off time as well. All Sony is doing is expanding the amount of players that they can touch by putting their games on PC. Because the players that they can touch right now on the PS5, especially for their exclusives, understand this, it's their exclusives, right? It's not enough. They got to get that money back. It's not enough. Don't be mad at me. Be mad at Sony for that. Okay? But the console wars effectively are done. They're no more. So now, what do we sit up here and argue about? It's going to have to be ecosystems, right? Who's got the better ecosystem? Who's got the better subscription service? Who's got the better services, period? And this is why... I can't fully blame, listen to me, I can't fully blame Sony for the Q-Lite. Even though I'm not a huge fan of the Q-Lite, I would be a hypocrite if I told you I didn't see the Q-Lite as someone that was a fan of the Wii U. I was a fan of the Wii U. I played my Wii U a lot in tablet mode. If this technology works flawless, the Q light could be a thing. And all it is is something else to add into their ecosystem. They're thinking outside of just that console. You're not enough. Console war is over. Everything's going to PC. The difference is do you want to pay full price so you could play it? First and inferior. <sighs> that don't even sound right. Dog dog one nine eight five. There's levels to this. We out. Peace.